My name is uh, Tom Hillman. I'm the CEO of the CBE Group. Uh, we're a debt collection company uh, based here in Cedar Falls. We have um, about a thousand employees over uh, four offices. We have an office here, of course, in the Little Cedar Falls area, uh, one in Des Moines, uh, one in Kansas City, and one in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, we have a, a mission here that um, which is to uh, define the future of debt collection, which is a much um, more ethical, gentler way to go about it. We'll interview 100 people and maybe out of 100 people we'll actually find 10 people that we really want to hire that have the right traits. You know, other than reading, writing, and arithmetic, um, we have got to have interpersonal relationships. Um, work ethic and how people uh, talk to each other and treat each other, uh, you know, in many respects sometimes even overcomes the basics. Um, we see a lot of kids coming out that are really smart, but they can't communicate with people. And um, you can't have one without the other. It just doesn't work in the workplace now. So, if they don't have the interpersonal relationships, uh, they don't have the work ethic, uh, then what you're going to find is they're moving from job to job to job and ultimately sitting in the unemployment lines. And we know today that the unemployment lines are very, very long. So, um, if they can learn those interpersonal relationships and the work ethic, uh, that'll make a big, big difference and also help them learn more and, and get sharper in the other, the, the three R's. The reason that I say business has got to get involved is because uh, when it gets right down to it, business is concerned about our educational system, like everybody else is. I know educators are concerned, well, business is certainly concerned as well. Uh, Education in the United States has dropped to 26 worldwide. Um, that's significant. Um, when I came up through the school systems, our school systems were the best in the world. In the United States was always looked at as the um, uh, best technology and all the breakthroughs came out of the United States and it's because our people were trained so well. Um, but today, uh, that's just not the case, and uh, business is very concerned about the quality of the workforce that is coming out of our school systems. Um, I think uh, the statistics show that 17 uh, or 14 percent of uh, children that graduate from high school are fall into our unemployment today, where four percent. Um, when they graduate from college are in the unemployment lines. So that says that we really need to educate children better than we are today. And um, business is going to have a hard time internationally to compete if we don't get better educated people. Um, I said earlier that um, if if we don't get better educated students coming into the workforce, the marketplace is going to force the wages down and we're not going to be able to compete. So we have got to get engaged and we have got to figure out the problems that we have today in education. We think it, it, it is very important that business gets more involved in education. We're involved in a program called the Leader Me. The Leader Me is based on um, Franklin Covey's um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, the Leader Me program, the reason we're so excited about this program and helping um, all of the schools in the Waterloo Cedar Falls area engage in the Leader in Me program is it gives them interpersonal skills, but just as importantly that it provides that to students 
first of all, you train all of the educators in the seven habits. So what we find and what's found in all the areas that they've implemented uh, uh, the Lead Army program is that educators just kind of get a renewed vigor in education because they have something that actually works in the, work, in, in the educational environment for them. Um, what that does is it's not a new thing for educators. All it does is it just gives them tools that they can do what they've done forever, which is teach children the basics. And um, it gives interpersonal skills to the teachers that relay that on to the children. The children, it eliminates um, uh, problems with uh, children causing problems within the school. It, um, it creates an environment where um, kids work harder because um, they've learned the seven habits of being proactive and begin with the end in mind. Um, they, be, they become nicer to each other. Um, a lot of teachers see that children work together more um, rather than their having to get involved in interpersonal problems with the, between children. The children actually working them out themselves. But children actually go home now and do their homework because they know it's important to do first things first. So they'll go home, do their homework, then go out to play versus go home, go out to play, and maybe they might have time for their homework. So um, all over the country where, where this program has been implemented, they've seen huge changes. It's interesting, the first place it started in um, North Carolina, um, the school, A.B. Combs, that they actually implemented this in, uh, the home prices in that school district went up significantly when home prices all around the country were dropping because people wanted to get their kids into this program. And we have the ability here, and we were going to raise the money to put it in all the Waterloo Cedar Falls schools um, because we believe this is the kind of basic thing that teachers can get renewed energy about education. but us as business leaders can get better uh, employees coming out of the schools, uh, the kind of employees that we actually need. Um, as excited I, as I was about this program, I thought it, it made as much sense if we were going to get involved with the schools to do this, that we decided to implement the Seven Habits training on all of our employees here. Every thousand uh, employees went through two days of, of eight hours a day training to learn the seven habits. And then we've uh, done a lot of our uh, uh, talk-offs within our company where we actually talk to consumers and talk to other people and re, um, redesigned our, our, um, those interpersonal skills on how we talk to people based on those seven habits. And we have seen huge uh, changes in how people relate to us in, in what we do. I mean, we're in a difficult industry. We're in a debt collection. We're a debt collection company, but um, we uh, probably have uh, less complaints than than ninety nine point nine percent of all the agencies uh, in the country, and um, it's primarily because of the way we approach it with the seven habits. Um, it's made a huge difference. Uh, seven habits, whether it's in education or in, in business, uh, we see that it changes people at home before it really changes them uh, at the office. And uh, we've had people, we've had, seen marriages saved, we've seen people just uh, renewed in their life from taking these seven habits, practicing them, learning all the interpersonal skills that come along with it, and it's made a huge difference here at our company. I've seen impact in the schools that we've implemented here in the Cedar Valley, and uh, our goal in the next four years is to implement every single one of our 43 schools in the Cedar Valley in the Leader in Me program. We're talking 14,000 students, about 1,500 educators, and we believe that if we can effectively do that and get the community behind, we had a 
kickoff in October, and we had over 800 people in the community attend that. And everybody is excited about this program. This program can change education in the Cedar Valley, and we have that opportunity to do it here. And um, maybe we can help pave the way for other schools. So I, I think it's important.